Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Okay, now let us see how to solve this given question. Here, I need to find out integral 0 to pi by 2 sine square x by sine x plus cos x. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go a bit slow, but please stay with me. Okay, in case if you feel I'm gonna go a bit slow, you can increase the video speed to 1.25 or 1.5. That's up to you. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go as per the textbook method. Okay, so it is a little lengthy, it is a little difficult to understand, but please stay with me. I've, I've tried my best to make it as easy as possible. Okay, now first take the given integral as i and mark it as first equation. Okay, now next in the definite integration, there is a property which states that integral 0 to a f of x dx is nothing but integral 0 to f of a minus x dx. In simple words, this means that instead of x, you can substitute a minus x in the given function. Here, what is my a? Here it is pi by 2. So instead of x, what can I substitute in the given function? Pi by 2 minus x. Here I can substitute, here I can use a minus x. Here my a is pi by 2. So pi by 2 minus x instead of x in the given function, okay, in this function, I can replace x with pi by 2 minus x and the limits won't change. Limits of the definite integral won't change. Okay. So that's why if you'll see instead sine square x is there, right? So I wrote sine of pi by 2 minus x whole square. Okay. And instead of x, wherever you see, I replaced it with pi by 2 minus x. Okay, fine. Because it's like sine square x is nothing but sine x whole square. So, sine, sine, so it, would be, it would be easy to understand. That's why I wrote it like this. Okay. Now next, what is sine pi by 2 minus x? You remember? It's cos x. What is cos pi by 2 minus x? Sine x. So, that's what you're going to see in the next step. So, instead of sine x, there's cos x. And I mean, sine of pi by 2 minus x, there is cos x. And cos of pi by 2 minus x instead of that there is sin x. Okay, the reason is in front of you. Now cos x whole square is nothing but cos square x fine. In short, you can just write it and mark it as equation 2. Chalo. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the two equations. I'm gonna add the two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Fine. If you if I'll do that, the LHS is i here, here also it is i. So i plus i 2i. And these two integrals will be added up. I mean, you're gonna see in the next step. Okay. Fine. Now, there is an interesting point to observe here. What is that interesting point? That interesting point is uh, in the denominator, the sin x plus cos x. Here also, there is sin x plus cos x. Okay. Here, I have sin square x. Here, I have cos square x. Fine. So, and if you see both the integrals have the same limits. So, both of them I can club like under one integral, I can write both of them. Next, since the denominator is same for both of them, I'm going to just add up the numerators. I'm going to just add up the numerators. So if I'm going to do it, so I'll get 2i is equal to sin square x plus cos square x plus sin x plus cos x dx. Okay. Chalo. I'm sure you guys remember what is sin square x plus cos square x. 1. Chalo. That's what like instead of this, you can just write it as 1. For this reason, okay, for this reason, I have did, the, I have did this operation like substituting x with a minus x, that operation which you saw, like that property which I used. Now my entire question is this, okay i will be nothing but integral dx i just wrote it here dx plus sin x plus cos now i is nothing but 1 by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 dx plus sin x plus cos x okay all good now from here here okay okay one important point okay to remember if you will like sweat more during practice you will bleed less during work what does this mean is like if you will worry more now if you will like study more now when the exams are not near then during exam time while you write exam like you won't have to worry and all that you don't have to take all that tensions okay so now what i'm going to explain could be a little tough if you're not able to understand just mug it up okay because these questions are important this could come in the board exam okay so just my little effort is needed okay so fine so what is that is this is a textbook method which i'm using this is used in the textbook okay so put t is equal to tan x by 2 okay Next, differentiate. Don't, okay. This is a method, okay. This is a method which I am teaching. If you will differentiate, dt will be nothing but derivative of tan x is secant square x. Here I have x by 2. So, that's why secant square x by 2 into, as per chain rule, into derivative of x by 2 will also come. What is derivative of x by 2? It is 1 by 2. That's why into 1 by 2 dx is there here. Okay. Chalo, now send this 2. This 2 is a number. You can just send it here. 2 dt is nothing but. And secant square x by 2, I can write it as 1 plus tan square x by 2. Why? Identity secant square theta is nothing but 1 plus tan square theta. Okay. Okay. Now see tan x by 2 is t. What will be tan square x by 2? t square. 
So here I have 2 dt is equal to 1 plus t square into dx and next 2 dt by 1 plus t square is okay fine. In case you are feeling okay oh my gosh I can't remember so many steps okay fine. What you can do is in, in exam first write this step and directly write this step okay. You can just mug it up uh, like uh, 2 dt by 1 plus t square is dx. You can do that. It's okay. I don't think anyone would deduct marks for this. Okay. This is for your explanation which I have given. Next. Once this is set, the this also you need to mug it up. Sin x is nothing but 2t by 1 plus t square and cos x is nothing but 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. Why? How? Let us leave those reasons now. Let us go with this question. Okay. Otherwise, already video is a bit lengthy. I know. It will be more lengthy. Chalo. Next. One more thing. Since we are substituting, this is substitution method. Okay. Like I am replacing tan x by 2 with t. So, x will be replaced with t. If you see in the previous integral, what were the limits? Those limits were for x actually. But what I am doing here, I am going to try, I am replacing x with t. Then my limits also will change, right? Limits also will change. Now, x, x limits were 0 and pi by 2 integral, 0 to pi by 2 it was there. That means x was, in, x was 0, lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi by 2. So, when x is 0, what will be t? T, when x is 0, t will be 0 tan x by 2 means tan 0 by 2 tan 0 is 0. Now when x will be pi by 2 what will happen when x is pi by 2 t will be tan pi by 2 by 2 which is nothing but tan by 4 tan pi by 4 which is nothing but 1. Okay this you need to write okay these three steps even if you like not write it's fine but these are important steps. Chalo now let us change our integral. Let us change it. Now what is the change that we will see? See our integral is Integral 0 to pi by 2, the limits will change. Limits will become 0 and 1. I showed you. Dx will be nothing but 2 dt by 1 plus t square. That also I showed you. Sin x is 2t by 1 plus t square and cos x is 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. This is what you are going to see in the upcoming slide. Okay, chalo. Okay, don't get tensed. Take some deep breath. I'll also take. Okay, chalo. As I mentioned, the things which I mentioned to you, that's what happened. Okay, now since these two denominators are same, I can just add up the numerators, fine. Just add up the numerators if you do so. So, I get 1 by 2 integral 0 to 1, 2 dt by 1 plus t square and just 2t plus 1 minus t square. Just add it up the denominators. That's it. Nothing new, okay. Next, uh, 1 plus t square, 1 plus t square can be cancelled. So, I will be nothing but 1 by 2 integral 2 dt by minus t square plus 2t plus 1. Now, what I did is I wrote this minus t square in the beginning and minus t square plus 2t plus 1. Okay, from now here, fine. Now here 2 and 2 would get cancelled okay in the step 2 and 2 would get cancelled so I'll get I will be nothing but integral 0 to 1 dt by next not just that take minus common here take minus common here now from here on I'm going to explain okay uh, okay take minus common fine uh, if I'll take minus common this is what I'll get here one if I'll take minus common this will be positive t square will be positive and then minus 2t minus 1 all good shallow now next this is a method I am explaining like in case if you feel this is going to be a bit big I'll, I'll tell you like from where to which step you can go to which step you need not right but at least understand okay in case if you understand this will be easy instead of mugging it up so much fine. Chalo. I will be nothing but integral 0 to 1 this I can write it as 2t as 2 into t into 1 okay. Now if you will observe if you will observe these two terms okay this is like a square minus 2 a b what is missing? B is B square is missing right then I can make it like a minus b whole square for that uh, what is b here it's 1 for that I'm going to add and subtract 1 square add and subtract 1 square cello if I'll do that if I'll do that if I'll add and subtract 1 square what will happen if you will see this is this will be nothing but t minus 1 whole square this is like a square minus 2 b plus b square what does that mean that is nothing but a minus b whole square in this case t minus 1 whole square and now next that's added added one square so i subtracted one square here okay this minus one was already there from the beginning Chalo. now what is minus one square minus one so what is minus one minus one minus two so this is what i have integral zero to one dt by minus of t minus one now this two i want to write it as square of something which one square which one square is two root two square okay so in instead of two i'm going to write it as root two square all good. Now next take the minus inside. So since this positive it will be negative and since this is negative it will be positive. So I can write root 2 square in the beginning. So integral 0 to 1 root 2 whole square minus of t minus 1 whole square. Okay. All good. Chalo. As I mentioned, see in case you feel that okay so many steps are happening. I can't, I can't write so much. I can't remember so much. Fine. There is a solution. What you could do is. See after this step. After this step. Okay directly 
directly you can just write this step okay i don't think it would be that much of a mistake if you can if you feel like so much it's happening after that step you can directly write this step if you feel like you can remember and it's fine but i would suggest write at least some steps so that you can make a good impression to the examiner by saying that okay this is what i am this i mean i i understood the concept that's why i'm writing it would be good okay chalo let's go now this is something like this is of the form integral dx by a square minus x square what is that integral dx by a square minus x square is 1 by 2 a log a plus x by a minus x 1 by 2 a log a plus x by a minus x okay chalo now if i were to do that what is a here a is nothing but root 2 and what is a, uh, what is x in place of x i have t minus 1 so 1 by 2 root 2 log a plus uh, root 2 plus t minus 1 by root 2 minus of t minus 1 a plus x by a minus x all good chalo and the limits 0 to 1 the limits would come 0 to 1 chalo now here there is a minus that minus i'm going to expand so minus t plus 1 1 by 2 root 2 into log root 2 plus t uh, t minus 1 by root 2 minus t plus 1. see there is a very very nice saying okay either you use it or lose it this knowledge which i am telling okay if you will use it if you will practice it will be there with you if you will feel like okay i just heard the video i can remember it no it will, you will lose it so please one request please practice make notes of what i am telling and if you have any doubts please come in the comments box you can just mention that okay from this minute to this minute i have doubt like in between this step so that i can clearly help you out okay let's keep going now let's substitute the limits okay so first the upper limit upper limit substitution means first in place of t wherever you see in place of t put one and then here okay here i put one and one here if you see and then put zero in place of t minus t uh, in place of t put zero that's it okay chalo now one by two root two log plus one minus one minus one plus one fine that's gone and root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 0 is there or not there it's now next these two will cancel 1 i'd get log 1 plus log now see in logarithms there is a property which states that it states that minus log a by b is nothing but log b by a so means like ulta ulta so here there is minus log root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 ulta plus log root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 all good chalo now let's keep going log 1 is 0 okay so 1 by 2 return to 0 plus next what we need to do is we need to rationalize the denominator which is present inside the log what do we have here root 2 minus 1 how to rationalize it pretty simple just multiply and divide with root 2 plus 1 okay so that's why here there is minus so that's why root 2 plus 1 by root 2 plus 1 if there would have been plus here then root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 it's fine for now minus is there let's keep going so 1 by 2 root 2 into log what is root 2 plus 1 into root 2 plus 1 root 2 plus 1 whole square what will be root 2 minus 1 into root 2 plus 1 this is something like a minus b into a plus b what is a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square so i get root 2 whole square minus 1 square and root 2 plus 1 whole square all good cello what is root 2 square it's 1 uh, i'm sorry it's 2 now next log root 2 plus 1 whole square or 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 it is nothing but 1 so i have a denominator of 1 which i need not write denominator f1 you need not write it's 2 okay now next 1 by 2 root into log root 2 plus 1 whole square now this 2 i can just bring it outside okay like this i can write why because there is a property in logarithms the power can be taken like this log a power m is nothing but m log a like this power will come here like the 2 you can just write now 2 2 is cancelled 1 by 2 root 2 log root 2 plus 1 ultimately we got the answer that we needed i know this was a little tough and could be a little bit lengthy but still i hope i i did a good job by explaining i mean as per how i learned from my teachers i you know just taught it to you in a way that is given in the textbook fine i hope uh, i could help you guys i did i hope i did a good job uh, i hope you could understand okay not just this question i have made other questions also related to definite integration you can just check out my channel and not just this uh, chapter like other topics like theory of equations and complex numbers you can just check out the description for other links and in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe thank you